Okay, uh, this is uh, about LRP uh, speedos which are damaged or faulty. In fact, I've, um, this one was connected back to front. And what happens, I've taken it apart, show you the inside. What happens is the if, if you're unlucky, you blow out the FETs or some of the FETs that are inside that control the power. And here's the FET board. The black ones are the FETs, the silver parts are no FETs. And this is the cheaper LRP where they don't populate the whole board. The more expensive competition one, it'd be full of FETs. So the only difference between the cheap one and the expensive one is um, they leave out half the FETs. The rest of it's the same. On the other side, there are those three silver bars that have got FETs on them as well. They're very difficult to remove without proper tools, and even if you replace them sometimes, you still won't work properly. Anyway, luckily with the LRP, the whole thing comes apart. So that unplugs. You can see the pins there. It just plugs into the control board with all the little chips on it. If you're very unlucky, you'll blow the BEC chip, which is also on here. Um, it is down to luck. Sometimes you can plug in the back to front if you're really quick and unplug it. It won't blow, but you might blow the capacitor. If you plug in back to front, it's always best to replace the capacitor because you know, the electrolytics are not designed to be plugged back to front. You'll stress it badly. Uh, if you plug in a fully charged LiPo, often these things just explode and fly off. The wires fly off. Anyway, I've taken it apart. Very easy to get parts. Four screws on the plastic bottom. Uh, the top me metal alloy has got this uh, heat sink compound, which transfers the heat from the FETs to the to the nice uh, fin top, which you can put the fan on. The middle part is also alloy. Another heat sink section, which um, presses against these FETs to transfer heat, because the FETs are things that get hot when they pass the current transfers it off to this aluminium case which will transfer it to the top case etc and the um, the memory uh, the processor boards there now that one being reverse connected and blown now this one here is also faulty you can't change the firmware it's um, on um, modified firmware you want stock firmware and you can normally switch backwards and forwards with the firmware updater which is this um, control board LRP here Plugged in the USB into the laptop, it's got a blue light, orange light connected via the sensor board wire into the speedo. The speedo doesn't need any power, it's powered through the USB. Some speeders when you update them they need to be plugged in to the LiPo as well. Anyway, you've got the LRP updater here and uh, you plug in the speedo and then you press the uh, connect button there. And it says make sure it's plugged in. You say yes. And uh, there was some, the blue light was flashing on and off there. But it comes up, error cannot have, uh, communicate speed control. I'll just show you that again. I'll press connect and um, I'll show you the speedo. What's the, I'll click OK. And the it is communicating with the speedo because the blue light's on. It goes off and it says it's not. So what we're going to do, um, hopefully, we can take this control board from this one and swap it out with this one. And uh, hopefully we'll get one of these working. So um, I'm going to do that in a minute and uh, see how we get on. Okay, I've um, connected up the USB lead to the uh, to the circuit module from the blown speedo and connect it to the USB and I'm just going to see if it works before I put it in so you press the uh, connect there and it says make sure it's connected I say OK and then we look at the module and uh, that was quick. Anyway, on the screen it's come up. It's running. It's got serial number and a version number, 5.4. So um, that is actually the stock version that the guy wants. So we won't even have to change it. So um, that's good. So we'll be able to put it in the speedo and hopefully we'll get it working. Okay, I've taken apart the uh, 
dashboard, that the power section is good, but the won't update. So um, I've taken it out and I put a red sticker on so I don't mix them up. And I can you can just see the differences. This one is the more expensive LRP, and it has all the FETs on it populated. And this was the uh, cheaper one, which only has half the FETs populated on the board. So um, we're going to put the good one, which was from this blown one here, into this good power board. So <laughs> good job I marked them up. And um, this capacitor has come off. I resolder that. Actually, I'll check these capacitors just in case. So I'll do that next. Okay, just before I um, solder the capacitor back on the board, I want to check it. So I've, you can't check these properly if they're soldered in circuit. I've, um, you want a low ESR on these things, uh, which is the equivalent series resistance, which is, enables them to uh, do a good job. So um, I'm just going to check it. I've got this ESR meter here, and I just I've connected up positive and negative to the capacitor. So I just test turn it on and see what it comes up with. Analyzing comes up with a nice um, 0 0.04, which is nice and low. You want it, um, you want around 0 0.06 or less. Capacitance 1588. Now these capacitances on here are 470 microfarads each one. So it's a bit lower than you expect. They should be nearly 2,000, but it's, it's close enough. So that's good. I mean, if that ESR was high above, say, um, 1 ohm, it would be best to replace that capacitor. Anyway, I've screwed it back together. Uh, before I test it, I'm just going to solve the capacitor. OK, here we go, just to check it. I've finished... Um, putting this back together. One thing I didn't mention is the two little buttons, plastic buttons, they fall out when you take it apart. You have to remember to put them back in or make sure you don't lose them as well. Otherwise you have to take it all apart again and put them back in again. Uh, so there it is. Uh, those are the two duff parts, the blown board and the circuit that wouldn't work. I've connected it up to the computer. Uh, I'll Press the connect button and the OK. It's got a red light on this one. Uh, that's too quick to see, but it's come up on um, connected. It's got version 5.4, which is the stock version which you want. So we haven't even got to um, change the uh, firmware. So we know it's not blown, so I don't have to connect it up to um, the tester. So we'll be happy. So that's uh, all good. So. Don't throw away your speedos if you blow them up because the parts may be useful to somebody to fix another one.